Hi, everybody, and welcome to Mile High Huddle here at Sports Illustrated. I am your host, Kim Becker, and joining me is ESPN college football analyst and former head coach, Jim Mora Jr. Jim, Vic Fangio is solidifying his secondary in free agency. What do you think this means for the team? Well, I think everybody knew that they needed to overhaul or upgrade their secondary, and I think they've done a really nice job of that. First, they identified players that they wanted to keep on their team, and secondly, they went out and got some free agents that they thought could make them, you know, one of the premier secondaries in the NFL. So, you know, you you franchise Justin Simmons, who's a really fine young safety, but not only do you franchise him, you immediately re-sign him, you know, so now you've got him on a long-term deal. So you've got a really good young player can be a stalwart in your secondary and he's under the tag and, or I'm sorry, he's signed to a long-term deal. So to me, that was kind of the first part of the building block. And then you re-sign Kareem Jackson, your other safety. So now you've got, you know, two guys that are familiar with your system that understand what you're all about as a Denver Bronco that are really good players, you know, already re-signed. Then you go out and you get Kyle Fuller, the cornerback from the Bears, who's a veteran presence. He's a former first-round pick. He's been a productive player in the NFL. He's got savvy. And he's been with Vic Fangio before. When Vic was the coordinator for the Chicago Bears, Kyle played for him. So he also knows the system. So now you're getting a veteran player that's been productive, that's recognized as one of the best corners in the league, who knows your system. And he can come in not only provide leadership in the locker room, in that DB meeting room, but he also can provide a lot of uh, instruction on the field. Hey, this is what Vic is talking about. This is how we do things. You know, I work with him with the Bears, and people understand that and they respect him. They go get Ronald Darby in free agency and sign him to a three year deal. Another guy that's, you know, a veteran in the league. So now they've got two corners that are, that are proven commodities in the NFL. There's no guesswork. And, and then, of course, um, in the slot, you know, uh, Bryce Callahan. So, you know, all of a sudden you've got five really solid players and you're playing with five defensive backs the majority of the time now. So they've got five really solid defensive back. They've got a great combination of youth and experience. They've got guys that are familiar with the system and, and there's still talk that they may go draft a corner in the first round. You know, they may go draft Patrick Sertain or they, you know, they, they may pick somebody to even further solidify that. So I think it's going to allow Vic to do the things that he likes to do on defense, which is be aggressive up front, get after the passer, put guys in man coverage, play combination zone coverages that are a little bit more detailed and exotic than most people play. He's got the tools to do those things now, and I think it's going to really show up on the field next year on Sundays. Well, you just mentioned that they might still go pick a cornerback at that ninth pick in the first round of the draft. I mean, if that does happen, this secondary will be – extreme right I mean you've got a huge force to be reckoned with if so but do you think that that's necessary or do you think they should kind of change their trajectory here and focus more on quarterback or another position uh, you know I know there's a lot of concern about Drew Locke and just his consistency and the conjuncture out there that they may use that pick for a quarterback um, you know I know Vic being a defensive guy um, understands how important it is to play great defense in this league you know both of his corners that he signed they're not they're not young chick chickens anymore. You know, they're getting up there in age. Um, so I think there's still a chance they go out and they get a Patrick Sertain or Caleb Farley from Virginia, for, from Virginia, Virginia Tech. Uh, but I think nothing ever surprises me in the draft. You know, that's the thing about the draft is you, you know, everybody's making all these projections and, you know, they're gonna, they, these are the team's needs. And then out of nowhere, they pick a guy that they value higher than, you know, us talking heads actually value. So, I don't think anyone ever knows what's going on in the room. All right, Jim. Well, thanks so much for your insight. Exciting things for Broncos fans. I hope that this will lift their spirits a little bit after the last few years. So very appreciative of your time, Jim, and we'll check in with you next time. All right, Kimberly, take care.